Um, in this video, we are going to be talking about trial in a criminal case. My name is Veronica. I am a criminal defense attorney here in Los Angeles, and I help people who have been arrested put their criminal cases behind them so that they can enjoy their lives and their freedom. And again, in this video, we are going to be talking about trial in a criminal case. Now, I have multiple videos where I talk about trial, trial st strategy. Obviously, that's a huge thing in criminal cases. Um, this video is going to be a little bit shorter because this is actually part from part seven now of explaining this criminal case timeline. So this is something, this is not marketing material. This is something I made for my clients to help them sort of have at least an overview and something that they could look back at to, to know, okay, what should I expect in, you know, from the case? Like what's the timeline, what's gonna happen? And I can explain it to them, but I found that when I started giving them this, um, they actually started having a much better idea of what to expect in their cases. So I'm going to be going kind of quickly through the trial part of this. Um, and this is part seven of this uh, nine part series. So if this is relevant to you, if you actually do have a criminal case and you want to find out about this stuff, I would encourage you to look back and watch some of the other videos that pertain to you. You know, if you your case is already still going on, maybe you don't start at the beginning. Um, and download this, it's free, it's down below, it's a PDF. Um, okay, so after you've had these check-in dates in the pre-trial trial phase of your case, so after the information arraignment, um, when you've had these multiple pre-trial dates, you have your experts ready, you have your, your motions have been filed, hopefully by then, you have received an offer from the prosecution that you want to accept, but sometimes that doesn't happen and the case will need to be set for trial. I mean, in some cases, the DA's office in LA for a while just was not giving and they still, for some cases, will not give an offer. And you know, I, <laughs> I was talking to a DA before a trial and found out, I, di I didn't realize that actually they get credit. So they, they're, part of how their promotions work is that they actually get credit for however many trials they've had. It doesn't matter if they win or lose, but they get credit for however many they've had. Now I'm sure winning helps boost them up a little bit more. I didn't get a clear answer on that from the DA, but um, if, you, if you have overwhelming evidence and you refuse to give the defense any kind of offer, you're going to go to trial and win, even if you suck right? If you have surveillance video. So sometimes that does happen. Um, now, sometimes on the actual day of trial when the prosecution, maybe they have other things going on, they've realized, okay, maybe some of their witnesses can't get there. Sometimes that, you know, they're going to have quite a bit of work. Trial is always a lot of work, even if you do have overwhelming evidence in your favor. Um, so sometimes on the eve of trial, literally the eve, sometimes during trial, sometimes during the first few days, we will actually get a better offer. It's somewhat sometimes like a game of chicken where we're showing, hey, we are actually serious about this. We will take this all the way to trial. Maybe you thought we were bluffing. We're not. Um, and, you know, I would say I've found that as my career has gone on and as I've had more trials and as I've established a reputation for an attorney that will go to trials um, and, and will go to trial in a case, I have noticed that they take it much more seriously when they realize, okay, this she she will actually she will take this to trial she'll set it she knows what she's doing at trial um you know i had cases this year they're in the same building the da's know one another when we're scheduling things and i say oh no i have a trial with this other da they realize and they actually do check in with each other and talk um so having an attorney who's willing to go to trial and you would think that should be all of us especially in criminal defense but it's not so that alone can help quite a bit because they know like, yeah, we will actually, we'll go, we will pick the jury, we will do the opening statements, cross-examine the witnesses, like all, we'll do all of that. Um, just did it for another case, so of course she'll do it again. Um, I think that that definitely helps. And of course that's not unique to me. Um, of course there are other attorneys like that, but one question you could ask your attorney or a potential attorney is when's the last time you had a trial? Um, you know, obviously, and I say this in 
in this outline. Obviously, there's a lot more to discuss about trial. There's a there's so much to talk about all the different parts of the trial, but just you know, as an overview of when to expect trial, what to expect. Um, hopefully, this information is helpful to you. Um, I would encourage you to, you know, if this is relevant, of course, download this PDF down below. It's free. We're not even collecting email addresses, anything like that. And if you do have a question, feel free, leave it in the comments down below. Um, I do read all of, <laughs> all of the comments, sometimes to my detriment. And if you do have a criminal case in California that you need help with, feel free to either book a call with me or you can find my number down below.